I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw the Colosseum from ancient Rome. We take two fingers way over here on the left and I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a slightly curved line up, slightly curved line down, slightly curved line over, slightly curved line up. Now we're going to draw the outside elements and then we'll fill in with all the details. Starting down here on the left, I draw one, two little curved lines, bring a straight line over, one, two little curved lines, and connect. Right above here, I'm just going to draw a straight line, straight line, connect. Come back over here to the left. We're going to draw a slightly curved line out, little straight line down. Come all the way over with another slightly curved line or straight line out, curved line up, in, and connect. Come back to the left. Draw a straight line down, slightly curved line over. Slightly curved line up and connect. One more. We're going to draw one, two little curved lines. Then we're going to draw a straight line over, straight diagonal up, and connect. Come right back to the left. Slightly curved line, curved line over, curved line, keep going, straight diagonal up and connect. Okay, now go all the way back up to this point, right where this little square is. And we're going to draw a curved line down, keep going, straight line, in, connect. Right at this point, right here, straight line, straight line down, straight line over, connect. Let's bring it up a little bit, straight line, straight line down, straight line over, connect. Right about here underneath, we're going to draw a straight line, straight line up, straight line, connect. Skinny mini, right underneath, straight line, straight line up, connect. Right inside, we're going to draw a curved line, straight line, connect, and we're going to do a floater. Curve line, straight line, connect. Right here we draw one, two, three floating straight lines. Come back over to this point right here and we're just going to draw a straight line down, connect. Come back over here on the top, we're going to draw a straight line up, Slightly curved line over, slightly curved line down, keep going, leave it floating. Now, come all the way down to this slanted diagonal line. We're going to draw a straight line, curved line, jump over, straight line, curved line, leave it floating, and right here we're going to extend that little straight line, bring it down, straight line, Come back up, straight diagonal down like a triangle, straight line, connect. And we got all these floating lines, don't even worry about it. Okay. Now, we come back up to this point right here, and we're going to draw a straight line over and connect. Inside at the top, one, two, three, four straight lines. One, two, three, four straight lines. One, two, three, four little lines. One, two, three, four little lines. In between, straight line, curve line, straight line down, connect. Straight line, curve line, straight line down, connect. All right, come all the way back over to this point, right here at this space. 
we're just going to draw a straight line across and connect right at this line straight line curve line let's draw that other line too straight line across let's draw a straight line down now we can finish this line straight line across connect come back to the very bottom straight line connect and you see there's a lot of straight lines a lot of curved lines a lot of this a lot of that just follow along and do the best you can because fortunately this is ancient Rome so a lot of this was even all the way across but it's in ruins now so it's okay if you miss a window okay so I drew a straight line across and I'm going to draw a straight line across down at the bottom all right I think that's pretty much the structural stuff. Now we're going to fill this all in with lines and windows. Because basically, this is a Colosseum is where they were put on events. The famous one being the gladiators and the circus. So we do straight line, curve line, straight line, connect. Straight line, curve line, straight line, connect everybody's going to have a different amount straight line curve line connect keep going until you get to the end of your space straight line curve line Woo! bam bam go ahead and finish it now come down here fill it in again straight line curve line connect straight line curve line keep going straight line curve line straight line curve line connect all right now come over to this section. Right at the top, we're just going to draw a slightly curved line and inside a wavy, wavy line going across. All right. We're going to draw a straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Little straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Little straight line, straight line, connect. Now we're going to put a straight line across where that indentation was. And underneath, straight line, curve line, straight line, connect. Everybody's going to have a different amount of windows and a different amount of columns because we all draw differently. So we're going to fill these all in. Now we come down to this section and we're going to draw a straight line, curve line, straight line, curve line, straight line, curve line. Keep going, straight line, curve line, straight line, curve line, straight line, curve line. Now come down to the bottom. You got to know that each one of these openings is a window. Straight line, curve line. And this is how people, animals, gladiators, Romans, would move in between and out of. It's important to remember that it is it's like the stadiums that we have nowadays. So there's your straight line, curve lines. Now I come back in and I'm going to add a little skinny straight line here. I'm going to add some little skinny straight lines here. I'm going to add another skinny straight line here. I'm dividing up my space. Okay, now come up to the top and we're just going to put some little straight lines across the top. We're going to come down in every place we have a space. I put a flat oval and two straight lines. These are the columns. Flat oval, two straight lines. Flat oval, two straight lines. Wherever we have a window, let's put flat oval, two straight lines. Now you'll know that Drawing this is the intense part. Coloring this is not as bad. So it's a lot of repeating patterns. And it's architecture. It's a building. So you're going to have everything be pretty much the same right to left. Here's some more windows. So I know I have to put a flat oval, flat oval, two lines. Some of you can fit some of them some of you can't, it's okay if you don't. This is the best analogy we can do this. Come down here, two straight lines. On this side they have straight lines, two straight lines, two straight lines. 
like I said, repeating patterns. Up here, two straight lines, two straight lines, two straight lines. Now, if you really want to go crazy, against the openings, you put little straight lines like this. Okay? Not everywhere because you can't fit them all. But if you have time and the inclination, wherever you see these little curved lines, you can put little straight lines as representing the stones that are keeping everything in place. So every once in a while, just put some little straight lines all the way across. Like I said, this one's kind of different to draw because there is so much detail. But once you've drawn it, like right here, we could put some little straight lines. Once you have drawn it, it's pretty easy to do the coloring. Now, so it doesn't look like it's floating in outer space. I'm going to put a wavy line, wavy line on the right, wavy line at the bottom. I think that's all, but who knows? Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to double color. So the first thing I do, light to dark, is I'm going to put some yellow on the outside parts. So it's my columns, the outside of the windows. I'm just going to put these little things. I'm going to put a, a little coat of yellow. Okay? Stay away from the windows because those, it's an open architectural phenomenon and those windows are going to be blue because you can see the sky through them. It's really a beautiful piece. If you Google it, you'll see that the Colosseum and the Romans knew how to, knew how to build. Beautiful structures. Anyways, so what I'm doing is I'm putting just a coat of yellow for my first color just to give it a little bit of punch of color all the way down and around. If you don't, if you miss some, it's okay. We'll all live. Then, if you have brown or you have gray, I took brown. Now, you just kind of color over the yellow and fill in your spaces. And as always, you guys will do way better than me because you're going to take your time. And like I said, you know, you're double coloring. Get that first coat, get your second coat. Now, if you have gray, you can do this gray. If you feel comfortable doing a light black, although I think I'd stay away from that. And I would just use brown and yellow just to be safe. So you're going to put that color in. Now, you can always come back in and work your color, okay, which is good. Because you look at it and you go, hmm, needs a little bit more here. All right. Then, just take your regular blue and fill in all the openings with a dark blue. And once you do that, you get to see how fantastic the Colosseum really is. And how it must have been very impressive to go to an event. And, and they're pretty much stadiums like what we have for sporting events. Same concept. Big enough to hold circuses and animals and people and gladiators and Caesars. and See how that blue, now you can kind of get an idea of what you just drew. Sometimes it's not until you color that you can see exactly what you just did. Take your time. Looks good to me. All right, on the bottom, let's just put some green. Loop-de-loop -loop it. Doesn't have to be solid, just so you know it's not floating in outer space. Come in with a little bit of green, darker green. Okay. And then the outside is a bright blue Roman Ital Italy sky. And I'm loop-de-looping 
now that I look at it, this would be a really good watercolor wash project maybe. But you want to fill in that background so that you know it's set against the sky. It's really a, a fabulous architectural wonder. The Colosseum in Rome. Okay? Looking at that, I could probably use some more coloring, but let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my Colosseum, all colored in, ancient Rome, Italy. Okay, bye-bye.